Hey guys, Aubrey here. Today I'm doing the Eureka Math Grade 3 Module 1 Lesson 2 homework. So let's get started. Use the arrays below to answer each set of questions. Alright, so again, like I always say, one of the most important things when doing a math problem is understanding the problem itself. Alright, so let's see what we're doing here. So we're doing, so basically let's start with what is an array. So an array is basically shapes or whatever form like arranged like very organized like arranged into rows and columns so rows typically go from left to right so they go horizontally and columns go from like the top to bottom they go vertically so let's see how many rows of our racers are there so we know rows go horizontally so let's see, there's one, two, three. That means there's three rows. And how many erasers are there in each row? So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. So there's three rows and there's two in each row because there's none left or on the left side. So that means there's two erasers in each row. And number two, what is the number of rows? Rows. So let's see, one, two, three, four. We have four rows. And what is the number of objects in each row? We have one, two, three. And that would be the same for all the rows because we're, it's arranged, organized. All right, number three. There are three squares in each row. How many squares are there in five rows? So there's three rows here and we have five rows. So this is also basically just five groups of three. So now it's asking how many are there in total? So five groups of three is five times three, which is a 15. And now it says write a multiplication expression to describe the array. So that's five times three equals 15. All right, number four says there are six rows of stars. How many stars are in each row? Let's see, there's six rows and there's one, two, three, four in each row. Now it says write a multiplication expression to describe the array. So let's see, there's six in each row and there's four in each row and there's six rows. So that's six times four. That, so that'd be six times four. So that would be 24. All right, next page. Number five, the triangles below show three groups of four. Now it says redraw the triangles as an array that shows three rows of four. So an array would be um, um, organized and arranged um, nicely. So let's see, three rows of four. So let's see, three rows, we could do one, two, two three, three rows and each row has to have four. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. So that's an, that's an array of those. So now it says compare the drawing to your array. How are they the same? How are they different? So let's see. They're the same because they both have a total of 12 um, triangles because 3 times 4 is 12, so that's 12 and 12. But they both have a total of 12. And how are they different? Well, they're just arranged differently. So they are different because they're arranged differently. All right, number six says, Roger has a collection of stamps. He arranges the stamps into five rows of four. Draw an array to represent Roger's stamps, then write a multiplication equation to describe the array. So what do we know about the array so far? There's five rows of four. So let's draw like our first ones of the five rows. So like, let's just do circles. So we have one, two, three, four, five, because it's five rows. We know there's four in each row. So let's do one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, 
one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. And now it's just draw an array to represent Roger stamps. And now we write a multiplication equation to describe the array. So we have five rows of four, which is basically five groups of four. So five groups of four is five times four, which is 20. So 20 would be our answer. Array number seven, Kimberly arranges her 18 markers as an array. Draw an array that Kimberly might make. Then write a multiplication equation to describe your array. So 18 markers. Well, we know that six groups of three is 18. So that is a possible way Kimberly could have arranged her markers. So we can do that. And we can do like squares this time. So we can do six groups of three. So let's do one, two, three, four, five, six. We have six rows of three. Three, 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 three. So this is a possible array that Kimberly could have made. And here we have six groups of three, which is six times three. And that would give us 18, which matches with her 18 markers. So this is a possible way she could have made her array. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video helps. And please don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps on my channel. See you guys next time. Bye!